Hey guys, welcome back to Mikey Reacts. I wasn't planning on make a making a video tonight. It is like 12.30, it's just after midnight. I got home about half an hour ago. Um, but this is making incredible noise everywhere. So first of all, welcome to Mikey Reacts. Um, before we get to anything, uh, if you do enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. But this is all about Oliver Anthony's Rich Men North of Richmond. Just from the title, you can you, you, you know what it's all about, you do. Um, this has been called a working class anthem. And as a man who's just spent the last 13 hours on his feet and just gotten home past midnight, I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to relate a lot to what this gentleman is saying. Um, I heard of it a couple of days ago when it was released. And it's got 5 million views in three days. So this must be resonating with a lot of people. Uh, and I'm 100% I'm sure it's going to be resonating with me and I'm very, very excited to listen to it. Um, I was going to listen to it by myself, but I thought why waste the opportunity to have you guys watch and listen to it for the first time? Because um, with so many views, especially in this current climate where there's almost a war against the working man or the working woman uh, trying to make ends meet, um, it's almost as though people don't want to see anyone uh, survive, uh, survive or even thrive. Uh, thrive or even survive, sorry, should I say. So there's a lot of talk that is trying to be cancelled by politicians or people are mad. I hope that's the case because that means it's saying a good thing, but it won't be cancelled. Not because there's people like me and you who who won't let it be cancelled. Let's get to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on topics like this, head over to Patreon. Link is down below in the description. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drive back home and drown my troubles away, it's a damn shame, what the world's gotten to, for people like me, people like you. Just off the bat, I won't pause it again, but you can hear the raw emotion in his voice. And what he's saying, he genuinely believes, and he should believe it, because what the the first five lines of this song are true beyond measure, beyond measure. It's crazy. He's hit the nail on the head. Let's see what else he's got to say or sing. I've 
been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. run for office my god the five million views that he's got in the last three days are well deserved just for a second forget about the message his voice is so his voice in itself is incredible my god i could sit here and listen to his voice all day but it was full of emotion as well he was incredibly sad at, at, at uh, singing that song because whenever he wrote it, he was thinking about what's going on in this world. I mean, of course, it's just speculation, but he can't have written that um, from a place that wasn't deep within him. Uh, that was uh, incredible. And just the voice, the raw emotion in his voice and the natural tones of his voice, absolutely amazing. I am no, I am no musician. I am no expert on music, but I, I would say that his voice matched with this song is a perfect combination uh, in my view. But let's get on to the topic of what he's talking about, because everything he said in that song is is 100% uh, correct. They are trying to control us. People like me and you, they don't want us to, well, they want us to be in their little slave world where we do whatever it is that they tell us to do subliminally. This isn't getting on some conspiracy theory. We all know that obviously the algorithms, even here on YouTube, um, I hope I don't get cancelled for that one, even here on YouTube or uh, Twitter or Facebook or wherever it might be, they're all geared towards telling you one story or another. And that's a real big shame because it skews the entire dynamic of a country or of the, of the world. Like you look at how polarized the United States is and you tell me that that isn't because people are seeing different Twitter feeds. You're seeing different opinions that are so polarizing. It's ridiculous when the only opinion we should really have is that they don't want people like me and you to survive just the way we're doing. Um, so he's damn right on that. And what something that got me massively was when he said, the dollar ain't shit and it's taxed to no end. You know, you you get paid a salary. You've got to pay tax to the federal government, to the state government. And then everything you buy with the money you have left over is taxed. How does that work? Right, you're just taxing this. How many times can you tax the same dollar before people just have enough? There was never meant to be taxed in the United States. It was started for the Civil War. And then it was uh, it was maintained afterwards. It was told, they were t apparently, supposedly, it was meant to be temporary. That never happened. But and the same thing's happening here in the UK. Um, the, the entire premise of this song is accurate all over the world. The difference is, is that there are people in the United States, like this gentleman, especially those who live in the South, or maybe out West, who don't want anything to do with government. And that is something that is so valuable and so true, like the whole premise of leave me alone and let me live my life, let me make the money that I need to make to survive and put food on the table for my family. I don't want to see your opinions on my on my on my phone screen. I don't want to have notifications every five minutes. I don't want to be told what to think. He is exactly right on that. And the poli the, the the like you were saying, the priorities of the politicians is so wrong. You see that whole, you know, he, he referenced Jeffrey Epstein. It was, yeah, I, me too. I wish they would take care of miners and, and farmers and builders. You know, the people, the cornerstones of society, right? The, these are people without farmers, builders, uh, miners. We wouldn't have coal to burn. We wouldn't have food to eat. And we wouldn't have houses to live in. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's almost as if there's a war on being a normal guy. Everyone now wants to be... Um, you know, in, in Silicon Silicon Valley, you know, with their Gucci bag and, and whatever it may be. This guy, is he's speaking real things. It is a, it's not a conspiracy, and I'm not talking like a conspiracy theorist because people can skew it that way if they want to, but I genuinely believe that people that are watching this video, me and you, we have the same views on that. Everything they're telling you isn't the truth. And it is... Oh, Man, I'm almost, I know I've said a lot of words, but I almost feel speechless, like I'm going around the drain here. Just, you know, going around in a circle, just, you know, just trying to process what I've just listened to, because, man, that is a working man's anthem. That is, that is, a, that is a working class anthem. And you know what? To a certain extent, it's even a middle class anthem at this point, because 
the middle class is being squeezed. The only people that are really benefiting are those that are the upper echelons of society at this point. And, you know, it's been like that for a long, long time, but now they're just trying to convince us that it's okay. Absolutely incredible song. God bless this man. If he runs for office, I'll vote for him. If he releases a new song, I'll definitely listen to it because whatever he's got to say, I believe is 100% valuable. It speaks to the minds of an entire nation. The fact that it's got so many views already, okay, is incredible. Um, it's, just over, it's, it's just under 2% of the entire United States has listened to this song. Five million people, if you consider that. Almost, almost like half the population of New York. I know it doesn't seem like a large number considering there's 360, 380 million people in the United States. I guarantee this will be a bit, it's be at 50 million by the end, by the end of the month. 100%, 100%. Because there are more people like me and you than there are of them. It's just whoever screams the loudest and at the moment they're screaming louder than we are. And we need to change that. Um, and, and this song is a great way to do that. Absolutely incredible, guys. I know I went on a little bit of a political rant there. You might have, you know, anyway, anyway, no matter who anyone votes for, no matter which way you swing uh, in terms of politics, <laughs> um, this song is for everyone that has to go out every single morning, work, put miles on their body to feed their families and just isn't managing to make ends meet. Or even if you are and it's just difficult, it's meant to be. Um, it's designed that way. And this man has told us all about it and his views are absolutely incredible. And his voice, the way he portrays this song is incredible. His voice is amazing. Um, I hope he makes more music and I hope this guy gets millions and millions and millions of views. So I guarantee you with the millions that he makes from this song, he will do something good and I'm sure of it. So that's really, really awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll leave it there. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Uh, you can head over to my Patreon. It's just $5 per month. I've got, I'll have some more in-depth views on this, maybe going more politi uh, like more politically inclined. I really try to restrain myself and refrain from showing too many political views on YouTube um, because this, uh, this channel is all about music, history, culture, um, uh, sports, and we don't want to sully it with too much politics. So if you guys want to hear my true and even deeper views on this video and exactly what's happening in the world and in the United States right now, head over to my Patreon. The link is just down below. It's just $5 per month at, at the base rate and you can get access to the majority of things at that rate. I really, really hope you, I really, really hope I see you over there. I'll be waiting for you. Have a great day, guys. And don't forget to subscribe.